of the other today. I'm gonna be a short tutorial on just on simply how to make a a quick block, how to code a quick block for bridge. No spe no special attributes. Simply a block. So first, you want to go to new file. You want to go over to blank bl block, and you'll see image. This is gonna be where you put in the texture fo file for it. For this, I'm going to be using a limestone texture that I've already made. I will not be giving an example for in game, but this should be this is how you make a block for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. For identifier, this is for when you're giving it for a command. You can do, you, as you can see, you cannot put any spaces, but you can. But you can put underscores and stuff. For display name, this is what people will see in game. You can edit this in the code. So if you mess it up, it doesn't really matter. But if you, but I would suggest setting this for as just the actual name for your thing. Once you're done with all that, make sure to press create. When you go into here. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it in the block editor, but not to the text editor, but hopefully you can go off of this for the, for the text editor if you're going to, if you're using that for this. So first here you want to go into, into here, you can see there's a lot of, a lot of things, but first you want to do light dampening. This makes it towards light, can, can't pass through it, if you put it to zero, it'll be like glass. That's how you can make blocks transparent or re reject a little bit of light. But for a basic block, we're just doing 15. Then, for display name, this is where you want to put the actual name. For limestone. And though I did say no attributes, we can, we are going to be just for fun. Gotta find it real quick. It can be quite annoying to find these, as you can tell. So that you can also search. If, the, if you make an item version of it, then you'd be able to change the name of the block when you're holding like the color of the name of the block. But that is not needed for this. But um, yeah. So if you go into light emission, that says I can make it emit light, but it requires light dampening to be at 15, so light can't pass through it as well. Still. So make sure that's still up. Flammable. This is how you make it towards its like a stone or like say wood. So it uh, catch chance modifiers. You can make it like so you can basically make it last longer. Like how wood lasts longer than leaves when burning, and the higher the chance of it catching on fire in the first place. For this, we're going to be saying it's false because well, it's limestone. It's not a wood. It cannot burn. It is not flammable. Structural mine mining. Well, you can set that to true or false. That does False build basically just make give it infinite time to destroy, like bedrock, because it's unbreakable. True will make it towards it's just basic, the base speed, mining speed. Seconds to destroy, this is how you can make it take longer to destroy, and stuff like efficiency or the type of tool will change how it is. I mean, it will change how fast it, it goes. So, for example, one second. That's pretty long for a block, so for like stones, probably like I feel like we could say like like one second for like a for like a stone, like a wooden pickaxe, but like I feel that the limestone would be like zero point five or something. So remember, so remember that like as a base, say stone is one second. So yeah. Anyway, so we can go over here. Friction. This makes it work. This is like ice. You can make it like you can slide on it and stuff. Directly explosion makes it toward basically so you can like this explosion resistance make it toward makes it towards it is ex like how resistant it is to explosives. For example, zero would be like glass or something. But for this, we're just gonna set it to one, which is like a normal stone. We can do geometry, but that stuff, but if you were making a custom size block, which we're not doing today, you could change that and all that. Loot makes it towards with a loot table, which I'll should probably be making a tutorial soon about. Basically, loot tables can make it towards they drop something else, and it works for blocks, mobs, and everything like that. Map color, as you can see here, is 
you can select a number of color or you can get the hexadecimal as you can tell here example black would be boom that's black but that's how you can make it take like a certain color when on a map and i think that's all i'm going to be showing today don't want to go into the too advanced too much advanced stuff for this for um, all of the um stuff here so i think that's just about it for what we're going over today and goodbye